Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Toyota Tundra 1794 edition in the color gray. Let's take a look. Starting up front here underneath the hood, we have a 3.5 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission, gets up to 389 horsepower, 479 pound foot of torque, towing capacity up to 11,045 pounds. Up front, we've got LED headlights, custom ready temping lights, fog lights down below. If you look across your front bumper, you'll also find these little round nodules. These are your front parking sensors. Of course, we've got the Tundra logo up front, and then underneath your front logo is your front facing camera. Along to the side here, we have 18 inch aftermarket wheels. We do also have a lift kit on this unit. Factory running boards here. We've got the 1794 edition badge down below on each side. Towing mirror which means that it is able to be adjusted outwards. Let's take a little look at that when we get up front. You can see it does have different dimensions. It includes indicator as well as blind spot monitoring. We do have the built-in sensors and additional cameras underneath to contribute to the surround view camera effect. On both of your front handles, you'll find this little dimple. We'll talk about that guy more on your driver's side. Moving back, all of your rear windows do come with factory tinting. In the back, we currently have the bed lamps turned on. These can be turned off or work automatically with opening and closing of doors. If you look in between the two lights back here, you'll also see two little cameras. Those guys have a neat little feature we'll talk about when we get up front. And your rear windshield is also power adjustable. Currently, there is a hard tonneau cover across the back of this unit. However, this will be removed pretty soon. So if you're seeing this as a sales listing, do not be looking into the tonneau cover that is about to be removed. Down below, across the back, just like up front, you have your backup parking sensors. Pitch receiver down below, spare tire mounted underneath. 4x4 four four little badge on the left, Tundra logo the whole way across. Then on your rear handle is your backup camera. To open up your bed space here, reach in and release your handle. And it is able to lift itself the rest of the way down here. Tundra logo across the back here. There are two other ways you can also release your lift gate. So we'll pop it back into starting position. One is releasing the button on your key fob. The other one is to go over to your driver's side rear tail light. Press this little button and again he'll pop down for you. So you've got quite a few different options. Now we can take a quick look along the inside of the bed here. As we said we do have the interior lighting. You've got tie down hooks and of course bed rails. And then on the right hand side there is also a power outlet for you. Close it up, go down, reach up, push your tailgate all the way back up into its starting position. And next, let's take a look at the inside. So inside here, we have that 1794 edition tan leather seat upholstery. It does have a little bit of the dual tone with the dark gray down below. And you have this light cream stitching all throughout for a bit of contrast. If you look downward, you'll find this little fabric release handle. Reach in, give that guy a release. You can now lift up your seats to access all of the storage spaces that you have in down below. Something very similar up top. Next to your middle headrest, as well as your rear passenger headrest, you have another little fabric strap. Reach in and release that guy, pull it forward, and you can now access all the storage space in behind the seats. You'll find that we do have the toolkit for your spare tire over behind the passenger side. And behind the driver's side, you have one of your JBL speakers. We have the JBL speaker sound system all throughout this unit. On the front side again, you may have noticed we have the folding down armrest slash cup holders. This guy can of course fold upwards to increase your seating capacity if you wish. Up overhead you have the panoramic moonroof for everyone inside to enjoy. Then on the back of your front passenger and front driver seats we have pouch storage. Back of your console you have your cup holders and then you have both heated and cooled seats, three variant levels each for both sides of your rear passengers and then charger options are all down below. And we currently have the multi-weather 1794 edition Tundra mats installed in this unit. Inside your door, you have all of your storage spaces. We also have more of this dual tone for the two different types of leather. Then you have this wood grain trim. We'll find much more of this up front and some of this beautiful metallic highlighting. We also get our first look at some of the ambient lighting that you'll find throughout this unit. Of course, stands out a lot better at nighttime. And there's also access to the folding up sunshades so these guys can reach all the way upwards, helps keep the sun out of everybody's eyes without impeding on the view, and of course can just as easily unhook and roll all the way back down here, go completely flush into your door frame. Moving forward, back again now to these little dimple. This guy indicates keyless entry, so if you have the key fob on your person, you can tap your hand here to lock and unlock the unit. Inside the driver's door, we have your power windows for front and back, window lock, power lock system, side mirror controls. 
On the left, this allows you to manipulate your side mirror so they're able to fold in flat with the body of your unit. So you can have it set to A for automatic, which allows them to move in and out with the locking and unlocking of the vehicle. Or you can use this to manipulate them yourself to move in and out at will for you. Then you have your memory seat settings down below, which of course means electronic seat adjustments, back front up down lumbar support. You also have the underneath support button right up front on the bottom. You have your hood release latch, then we have your rear bed lamp lighting, you have your automatic headlamps, automatic start stop, dash brightness, your odometer trip, rear parking sensor controls. These are the controls for the towing mirrors. So this one on the end here will allow you to move it in and out to adjust to your liking. Then you have your puddle lamp controls, AC 120 volt, and then the heated leather steering wheel control. We also have the power tilt and telescopic steering wheel for this unit. Give me a minute here to hop up into the cab and we can take a closer look at the steering wheel. Black leather with black stitching. Left hand side controls for your dash display. Then you have your hands free communication and your volume control. Right hand side radio controls in the bottom. Adaptive cruise control up top which includes a sonar and lane departure. Up top here you'll find this little cutout in your front dash space. This guy is your heads up display so if I can get it just right, if you look right here, you're able to see some metrics being displayed. This currently includes your speedometer and your compass. Great little built-in features so that you don't have to take your eyes off of the road to keep an eye on some of your pertinent information. On to here in the right in the middle, we have built-in storage, 12 volt adapter on the left-hand side of it, and then underneath is where you have your infotainment display screen. But display screen. This is where you have the 12.3 inch. Nice big screen. Definitely not just going to see what you're looking at. Up top, we have the built in navigation, fully touch sensitive for you as well, of course. Then you have your audio listening, AM, FM, satellite radio, full Bluetooth connectivity includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and there's optional USB adapters all throughout this unit. Then you have your phone connectivity. To connect your personal phone to this vehicle through Bluetooth, you would use this feature also for your hands free communications. Then you have your trip information and your vehicle alert. And then you have all of your general settings, so everything from personal profile, Bluetooth, audio, you have your Wi-Fi display, navigation, voice search, dealer info, apps, software, etc. Underneath this, to the left, is a push start ignition, trailer brakes here and here. Then we have your controls for the surround view cameras. So if you give that guy a press, you'll find that your infotainment turns to this full surround view look at the unit. You can also change the direction from which you are looking to get a little bit closer to the ground or higher up. And if you want to take a closer look at something, you can pause the image and it will continue at whatever direction you're staring at. And then there is a little bit more further customizations so you can access through the little accessibility option in the bottom right corner. To get rid of it, you can just press the surround view again, or there is a little X button you can find in the top left corner. Next to that is your traction control in four ways. Before we get too far along, we have your climate control panel in the middle here, with the exception of the volume control on the left. Also have your USB on the right. For the climate control, we've got dual climate control up front here. Currently, we do have it not synced up, but I just synced it for you so that both sides will work together in unison. You can turn off the sync if you would like each side to work independent. We also have three variant levels for both cooled and heated seats. Blue for cool, red for heat. Then you have your defrost for front and rear windshield, as well as your side mirrors here. Now, all the way down below, we have all of your storage spaces. Starting up front, you've got this wireless charging pad right here, this black pad. You've got a glowing green dot and the little wireless charging pad symbol. It has little bumpers on the sides and bottoms, which means that your phone's not going to go flying out of that space as soon as you shift into gear. You still have a clear line of sight to your phone for any notifications coming in and out. And then there is still plenty of additional storage space all around it, so it's not going to be a, a blocking anything else off for you. And you can always make sure that your phone is never going to lose its charge, even if you don't have the charging cord with you. Then behind there, you've got these little peak away cup holder spaces, so you can have it down or up, whatever suits you best. Of course, you've got your gear shift here, parking brakes up front, two-wheel, four-high, and four-low controls. You have your driving versus towing modes. In the back is a console space. You've got the two different levels, more of this wood grain trim that you've probably noticed little elements of all throughout the front cab, like we said. Sliding tray up front here. Then inside, you have your charger options various levels for storage and then of course it opens up naturally as one would expect and then in the back this little piece right here is actually interior lighting so when you're driving at night time trying to reach something inside you're not just looking around in the dark you can actually see where you're going on the right hand side more of the dual tone leather ret you got the interior lighting wood grain trim 1794 edition burnt into the right hand side lockable glove box down below up overhead one, two, and three dots. These guys are garage door openers. Of course, right now, this is a normal reflective rear view mirror, but if you flip the switch, you'll find this instead, it turns into this camera view. 
really cool little bit built in feature for you in case you have anything inside of either your cab space or maybe even taking up a little bit of your bed space is kind of getting in your way making it hard for you to keep an eye on traffic here to circumvent that problem you just flip your switch and now you're taking advantage of those two cameras that we discussed off the top right behind the two headlight or the two rear bed lamps that we saw up top near the roof space really cool nice built in good for safety features then you've got your sunglasses compartment sos button overhead lighting controls ambient lighting on the right hand side of course, you got the controls for your panoramic moonroof, and then on the left-hand side is the controls for that power-adjustable rear windshield. You can take a look at that guy in action. Press the button in to have him roll down. Pull the button up to have him roll back upwards. You can also stop it at any point along the way to suit your personal preference. Great little built-in feature for letting a little bit of extra airflow into your cab space. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this Toyota Tundra 1794 edition in the color gray. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.